जय हिंद वेलकम टू एल एंड टी एजुकेशन सो गाइज टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम इम्पोर्टेंट एब्रीविएशन ओके सम इम्पोर्टेंट एब्रीविएशन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू इकोनॉमी एंड पॉलिटी मेनली इकोनॉमी पॉलिटी में कुछ है पर इट इज मेनली बेस्ड ऑन दम इकोनॉमिकल टर्म्स ओके एंड दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फॉर योर ओपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन also very very important for your railway examination your ssc exam also so uh main ek cheez bolna chahta hu ki bahut din ho gaya main class nahi kiya hu online mein kyunki as due to some problems due to my as physical problems i was seriously ill that's why i was not unable to take your classes from today onwards i'll think i'll take your classes regularly and So welcome to our academy. Welcome to our LNT education. And today we will discuss about some important topic related to that is these are very very important terms that is frequently used in economy. Let's discuss these terms one by one. And uh, I think uh, this may be come in your upcoming OPSC examinations or it may come in your uh, railway examinations or it may come in your uh, SSC. Uh, CGL examination set sector. Okay, so these are very very important bodies, powerful bodies. Let's discuss. So first one is ADB. ADB means Asian Development Bank. Okay, Asian Development Bank. So before starting our lecture, I would like to request my beautiful students, please subscribe my channel so that I will give the good content to you regularly, frequently, etc. Okay. so first adb ad means asian development bank then come to asian a s e a n asian means association of south east asian nations okay and i'll promise we'll discuss all about this uh, one by one later when we'll learn economy then we'll study all this all this abbreviations okay holistically thoroughly so what is adb what is asian group how many countries are they are where is its headquarter what is its motto etc but especially in this lecture we will we will only discuss we will only focus about the important abbreviations okay so asian means association of south east asian nations then be b means budget estimate that is budget estimate then bop bop means balance of payment that is balance of payment cpi cpi means consumer price index consumer price index then cso cso means central statistical office central statistical office then fdi fdi means foreign direct investment foreign direct investment then fema f e m a fema fema means foreign exchange management okay if you are finding any doubt please pause the video and watch it perfectly then if any doubt then please comment us in our comment section then afera f e r a fera fera means foreign exchange regulating act foreign exchange regulating act then fiki f i c c i fiki fiki means federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry fiki f i c c i fiki means federation of indian chambers of commerce and industry then forex forex means foreign exchange forex means what that is foreign exchange g8 g8 means group of eight industrialized nations okay that is very very important group of eight industrialized nations then get g8 double t get means general agreement on tariff and trade general agreement on tariff and trade that is gatt then gdp you know gdp gross domestic product gnp gross national product ndp net domestic product nnp net national product okay again repeating gdp means gross domestic product gnp means gross national product 
NDP means net domestic product, NNP means net national product. Okay, then come to this side, right side. HDFC, HDFC means it's a one type of private uh, sector bank. It's a very very uh, profitable bank. Uh, this time, okay, after SBI, if a bank which is earning profit, that is HDFC. Okay, then HDFC, its abbreviation that is Housing Development Finance Corporation. HDFC that is Housing Development Finance Corporation. Then HDI, HDI means Human Development Index. That is Human Development Index. Then IBM, IBM is a very very reputed uh, computer manufacturing company. Okay, IBM. That is International Business Machine. International Business Machine. Then ICAR, ICAR means that is International Council of Agricultural Research. Okay, International Council of Agricultural Research. Then IDA, IDA means International Development Agency. International Development Agency. Then IDBI, IDBI is a bank. Okay, uh, Industrial Development Bank of India. That is Industrial Development Bank of India. Then IFC, IFC means International Finance Corporation. International Finance Corporation. Then ILO, ILO means International Labor Organization. International Labor Organization. Then IMF, International Monetary Fund. International Monetary Fund. WB, WB is the World Bank. What is World Bank? Then KCP, Kisan Credit Patra. Kisan Credit Patra is KCP. KVP, Kisan Vikas Patra. Kisan Vikas Patra is KVP. Then Navad, Navad is also an agricultural bank. National Bank for Agricultural and Rural Development. Okay. National Bank for Agricultural and Rural Development. So these are the very, very important abbreviations that is related to economics and mostly economics and some terms are there that is related to uh, that is uh, your uh, what is what is this is polity and uh, that is uh, international relations okay so uh, let's continue and we will we will continue it we will continue it we will continue it let's continue okay and then uh, let's continue okay then nafta n a f t a nafta nafta is the north america free trade agreement okay uh, generally fta that is free trade agreement na means north america free trade agreement then uh, nsei nsei national stock exchange of india okay nsei that is national stock exchange of india then nsso nsso means National Sample Survey Organization. National Sample Survey Organization. Then NTPC. NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation. National Thermal Power Corporation. Then PDS. That is very, 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 very important term PDS. And it's a very a genuine term that is frequently used everywhere. PDS. That is Public Distribution System. Public Distribution System. Then PGCIL, PGCIL, that is Power Grid Corporation India Limited. Power Grid Corporation India Limited, PGCIL. Then PSE, PSE is the Public Sector Enterprise, okay? Public Sector Enterprise. Then PSU, that is Public Sector Undertaking. Listen, both are different, eh? PSE, PSU, okay? These two letters, E and U, that differentiates. PSC means public sector enterprise, PSU means public sector undertaking, that is HAL, VEL, uh, IUCL, uh, that is um, uh, HPCL, okay, these are the PSU companies. RBI, you know, RBI that is Reserve Bank of India, that is RBI, Reserve Bank of India, RE, RE means revised estimate, okay, B means budget estimate or RE means revised estimate. Then RTI, RTI means right to information, right to information, right to information. Then SARC, SARC means South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation. South Asian Association for 
रीजनल कोऑपरेशन इज सार्क रीजनल कोऑपरेशन सार्क देन सेबी सेबी इज द सिक्योरिटी एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया सिक्योरिटी एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज सेबी देन सिडबी सिडबी इज द स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रियल डेवलपमेंट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज सिडबी देन यूएनडीपी यूएनडीपी इज द यूनाइटेड नेशंस डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम यूनाइटेड नेशंस डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम देन व्हाट वीएटी व्हाट व्हाट इज द वैल्यू एडेड टैक्स वैल्यू एडेड टैक्स देन डब्ल्यूईयू डब्ल्यूईयू इज द वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक आउटलुक दैट इज डब्ल्यूईयू देन डब्ल्यूएचयू डब्ल्यूएचयू इज द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन डब्ल्यूपीआई दैट इज होलसेल प्राइस इंडेक्स दैट इज होलसेल प्राइस इंडेक्स सीपीआई दैट इज कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स एंड डब्ल्यूपी इज द होलसेल प्राइस इंडेक्स देन फाइनल डब्ल्यूटीयू वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो गाइस दीज आर द 50 इंपोर्टेंट एब्रिविएशंस abbreviations that we have discussed now these are very very important for your upcoming examinations that is very important for the op sc ssc okay cgl then your it is also very very important of banking okay railway and other competitive examinations these are very very important it may come it may come one or two okay uh, that is about important abbreviations okay the abbreviations will be given and you have to write its expanded form you write its expanded form so these are the uh, 50 important abbreviations and they are um, expanded form that i have discussed now so if you like our initiation please like our channel watch our video till end subscribe it so that we will provide you daily basis very very good content so that that will improve your knowledge so also that will helpful for your upcoming examination so goodbye jai hind